Hello everyone, my name is Kayla Stibley and today I will be showing you how to properly use a chef's knife as well as demonstrating some basic cutting techniques with some fruits and vegetables. Alright, so before we can begin cutting, you have to remember to get your cutting board out. There are many different types of cutting boards. I have a plastic one. One tip I'd like to share is cutting boards do move around, so a way to stop that is to get a damp paper towel, place it under your cutting board, and then it's pretty secure. All right, so here we have our knife, and before we can start cutting, it's important to learn how to properly hold the knife and how to properly position your non-knife hand. So let's start with the non-knife hand. To properly position your non-knife hand, your finger should be curled under to protect your fingertips, and your little finger and your thumb should be behind those fingers, and as you chop, you're going to slowly slide your hand to the opposite side. Alright, so now we can learn how to correctly position our knife hand. So first you want to take your pointer finger and your thumb and pinch the top of the blade right before the handle and then curl your fingers under the handle. This will give you better control and precision when you're cutting. And a good tip is to always remember to keep the tip of the knife down and it never comes up off of the cutting board. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to slice a cucumber. First, you're going to want to cut both the ends off. And then next, you're going to want to cut the cucumber in half. Cutting the cucumber in half will allow it to be flat on the cutting board, which will make it easier to cut. All right, so now we have two halves of the cucumber. I'm going to set one to the side. And now I will show you how to slice. Slicing is basically defined as just cutting with a knife. So you just basically do exactly what I showed you when I showed you how to hold the knife and position your hand. You're just now doing it with a cucumber. And you can decide however thick of slices you'd want to do. I am doing them pretty thin. Um, and here they are. All right, so the next basic cut we're going to learn is a drawing technique, and I will be doing this on a bell pepper. The first thing you want to do is cut the bell pepper in half. It's nice because bell peppers kind of had this weird shape, so you can turn it on this side and just cut right on a line that's in front of you. All right, so now we need to take the seeds out of the bell pepper, and I usually don't make it too complicated. I just rip it right out and clean it up from there. All right, so now I took out the seeds, and now I can show you how to draw. So drawing a bell pepper, or any kind of fruit or vegetable, is exactly what it sounds. When you draw, you just go up and down but you will be using the tip of the knife on the cutting board and you will never take it off. So it goes like this. And then you end up with pieces like this. All right, so now I will be showing you guys how to dice an onion. So the first thing you want to do is cut the onion in half, but it's important to note that the root is right here, and if you cut the root off, the onion will just fall apart. So it's important to remember that the root needs to be there. Now that I have the onion cut in half, you're going to want to take off the skin of the onion. Next, you are going to cut off this end of the onion. Remember, the root is on this side. All right, so next you're going to want to take your knife and slice the onion this way, but don't cut it all the way to the root because you still want the root intact. Right now, we're just cutting the onion so then we can have space to cut the little diced pieces of onion, which should be about this size. All right, so now it is ready to be diced. So you're going to put the flat part on the cutting board, 
and position your knife hand and your non-knife hand and just do it as if it was slices. And then you should have pretty little dices come out like this. All right, so the last cut I am going to demonstrate is how to core an apple. For this cut, we are going to start by using a paring knife. So the first thing you wanna do is take your apple and your knife, and you're going to take the tip of the knife and push it down into the apple all the way through the apple. After you do that, you're going to want to slowly take it out and do that variously around where the core would be inside of the apple. All right, and after you've done that, you can take the top of the apple and pull it out. First, you might wanna push. All right, so now we got that out. And there's still some in the bottom, so I'm just going to push it out. You can take that out. And then you have successfully cored an apple. And here are the results of our basic cuts we learned today. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and thanks for watching.